Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make Capsule Corp from the franchise Dragon Ball. I would also recommend building these two optional extra builds that I will leave links for down below in the description. They aren't going to be a part of this video but you can choose to add them afterwards. First of all, we have the Capsule Corp spaceship, which in my mind most notably is used by Goku to travel from Earth to Namek so that he can defeat Frieza. I have also built the Time Machine, which most notably to me, in my mind, is used by Trunks to travel from the future back in time to warn everybody about Cell. These are two really cool easter eggs to add to the Capsule Corp compound if you're a Dragon Ball fan, but they are not necessary at all. But without any further ado, this is the amount of space required to make Capsule Corp. And here are all of the materials that we will use to build it. Begin by placing a row of six yellow concrete in a row on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six. Leave a gap of three. One, two, three. And then place another row of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We now want to extend one block backwards. And then three blocks to the right. One, two, three. And then one block backwards. One block to the right. One block backwards. One block to the right. And then three blocks backwards. One, two, three. And then one block to the right. And then 14 blocks backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We then want to extend one block left. And then three blocks backwards. One, two, three. And then one left, one back, one left, one back, and then three left, one, two, three, and then one block back, and then 14 blocks to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We then want to extend one block forwards, three to the left, one, two, three, then one down, one left, one down, one left, three down, one, two, three, one left, 14 blocks down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 13, 14. We then want to extend one block to the right, three blocks forward, one, two, three, and then one block to the right, forwards, right, forwards, and then three blocks to the right, one, two, three. Now, that might seem rather complicated, but if we take a look at it from the sky, we should have made ourselves a nice circular shape like this. Next, we want to add three more rows of yellow concrete on top of this entire base shape. One, two, three. And then we want to place a layer of yellow terracotta on top of the three layers of yellow. And we want to do this all the way around.
There we go, perfect. Next, we are going to add another layer of yellow concrete. However, this is going to sit above and inside of the layer of yellow terracotta that we have at the top of the build. I want you to notice how the yellow concrete is going to sit perfectly inside of the shape connecting together in the corners. The layer of yellow concrete is also going to be three rows high in total, and later on we will add windows and other details to the build, but first of all we are just going to start off with a nice big yellow dome that, I cannot help it, really does remind me of a wheel of cheese. Next, we are going to, once again, add another layer of yellow concrete above and inside of the previous layer of the building. The yellow concrete is once again going to connect together in the corners like this, and this time the yellow concrete wants to be two rows high in total. Next, we are going to add a single layer of yellow, once again, above and inside of the previous layer. Next, we are going to do that again. It's now time for us to add some towers to this cheesy igloo. Come to the front right hand side of the roof. We are looking for this block specifically, hopefully it's not too hard to find. Extend this block backwards, to the right, back by two, one two, in one, back one, left by two, one two, in one, and then right one, so it's kind of tricky to see, but this is the sort of shape that we have. Well, we want to extend the shape upwards by three rows, so we'll start by going once all the way around, one, and then two, three. So we want to add windows into this, so on the front left hand side we want to knock out these three blocks and replace them with glass, and then we want to leave a gap extending up and then do the same thing. 
We want to place these on the opposite side of the tower also, so we'll knock out this corner here, leave a gap, and then we want to add another set of windows. What we then want to do is grab the smooth quartz stairs and add a layer of smooth quartz stairs all the way around the edge of the top of this, all just connected together like so. We can then add a layer of smooth quartz slabs just at the top shape of this, and that will give us this. That is absolutely perfect. And we actually want the exact same thing on the opposite corner of the build. I know it's a circle, it shouldn't have corners, and yet here we are. So on the back left-hand side of the roof, we're kind of looking for the equivalent block that we started with, which would actually be this one. We want to place a yellow concrete extending back, right, forwards two, left, forwards, left two, back, left, and this is the shape that we want. Once again, quite confusing, but we want to add three layers, so... One, two, three. I actually didn't finish the sentence when I first said it. We want to add three layers of yellow concrete on top of that shape. And then, once again, kind of like the exact same thing. So, in the kind of like exact same position, we want to have the glass here in this corner. Skip one. More glass. On this side as well. Skip one. Perfect. Then smooth quartz stairs all the way around the edge of the top, kind of forming together in a ring. Perfect. Then a layer of smooth quartz slabs to kind of round off the top. And that will give us something which should look like this. So the next thing that we are going to do is essentially seal up the hole in the top of a capsule corp using smooth quartz slabs. So these smooth quartz slabs are pretty much, this is really easy, going to just fill the gap in at the top of capsule corp and they're just going to sit half a row above the entire building. So the shape that we have to fill in kind of looks like a butterfly, actually, funnily enough. That's what we have to fill in. The end result should look like this. So, let's add some details. At the front of the build, we have the entrance. So, first of all, we're going to add a layer of yellow concrete just underneath the top of the entrance here. We then want to place blue concrete in front of the yellow concrete that we placed. Drop that road down one, extend it right and left, and then add another layer of blue concrete in front of this, and then join the ends of this down to the ground using end rods. What we then want to do is fill the space in behind this using light blue glass block, just like so, and this is the end result. To the right of this, there is an additional entrance. So we want to actually extend out these yellow concrete blocks here at the bottom. We want to place one, two, three yellow concretes. Then they want to extend over to the right upwards and diagonally. We want to place two yellow concretes down and to the right, join them down to the ground, extend these blocks on the right forwards, even them up with the entrance just over to the left, and then add a layer of red concrete along the inside of this just one row backwards. There's even a little window here just in this wall, just like so. So that's looking perfect. The next thing that we are going to do is add windows to the front of Capsule Corp. 
and we will also need later on some yellow carpet. Come all the way over to the left side, and we are on the second layer of the building. We want to create a 2x2 two two square here inside of the build, so we want to knock out these rows. And to the right of this, we also want to knock out a 2x2 two two square. So just clear all of the yellow concrete that exists there, and then fill this area in with just light blue glass. We then leave a gap of two going right, and then we want to destroy a row of five. One, two, three, four, five. Two rows of five going right, which we then want to fill in with glass. And there's ways that we can enhance these windows later as well, but for now, we want to leave another gap of two, and then destroy a two by two square, and then once again, kind of like the exact same thing to the right as well, clearing out any blocks that we might have in the middle, and then just filling in all of that empty space using the glass. Sticking with the front of the build, we want to move up to the next set of windows. So we're actually going to leave a gap in the building, so we were just working on the second part of the building. We're not going to the third, we're actually moving up to the first single layer. And what we essentially want to do is this, you can see where we position the windows on the lower part of the building well. We want to destroy the same blocks on the upper level as we have down below, right? And then we just want to fill those blocks or replace those blocks using light blue glass. And then we're going to add yellow carpet on top of the glass like this. And we want to do the same thing on the opposite side. So you can see where we have the glass below here. We kind of just want to follow up and destroy the equivalent blocks up here. And we will just replace these using the light blue glass with yellow carpet on top. We want to do a similar thing in the middle, except we want to have a slightly smaller window. So we actually want to have just a row of three right in the middle of this particular layer of the building, just like this. So basically, you find the center, destroy block left and right, and there you go. And that's pretty much the windows for the entire front of the build. Let's move around to the side, and we can start work here. So, once again, we are starting with the second layer of the building. Not the base, but the next one up. And we want to destroy a 2x2 two two square over here on the left side, and one to the right as well. Destroy the blocks in the middle, and then fill all of this in with glass. We then want to do the same thing on the opposite side here. 2x2 two two square, same thing to the left. Destroy the blocks in the middle, fill it all in with glass. We want to have the five middle rows also be glass, so you can actually leave a gap of two on either side, and that will uh, essentially give you the shape of the window, so leave a gap of two on the left, gap of two on the right, and then fill the area in with glass, just like this. And then, you see, this is where it's a little bit different on this side. So on this side, we now want to move up to the next layer, and where the window ends on the left and right, we actually want to destroy this block here and then move out one. This block here, move out one. You can see how this lines up with the previous level. And then we want to move on to the next layer of the building and then destroy windows that are parallel to the two sets of windows that we just made. And then we can fill this in using glass block, just like this. And this is exactly what we have that is perfect and once again kind of like we can just fill on top of this in using the yellow carpet like so and there we go this is this side of the building and if we move on to the opposite side we want to do the same thing so on the opposite side once again we don't start at the bottom we start one layer up we destroy a two by two square just over here on the right leaving one row on the end we then destroy two by two to the left dig out the middle blocks Fill this in using glass, just like this. Nice long window. We then want to do the same thing on the opposite end, so two by two, and then another two by two. Fill all of this in using glass block. Leave a gap of two, and then we want to leave a gap of two on both the left and right sides. Fill the center of this in with glass, just like this. 
then we want to move up onto the next level. We take the ends of this window, the left and right, we destroy the blocks just up above, and then move forwards and backwards, and then fill these in with glass. We then want to move up to the next layer and then destroy the corresponding yellow concrete and then fill these in with glass and then add yellow carpet on top. And that's great. That is the opposite side of Capsule Corp. Now, last but not least, coming round to the back of the build, we are going to just add a simple set of windows on the back. So these windows are essentially going to be the same as the front. So we will start over here on the left not on the bottom layer, but the one above. Two by two, uh, two by two square destroyed. Then the same to the right, dig out the blocks in the middle, fill in with glass. Come over to the opposite side, two by two square. Then to the left, dig out the middle, fill all of this in with glass. Leave a gap of two on both the left and the right side, and then dig out the middle, fill it all in with glass. Then we want to add a layer of glass once again. So we're going to leave a gap. We want to just completely leave this next layer alone. And then we want to dig out the corresponding blocks just up above. So in the first layer where we just have the one layer of yellow concrete, we want to destroy the yellow concretes, occupy them with blue glass like so. And then we want to do the same thing on the opposite side. So this really is just using a little bit of... You've got to kind of just like measure things out using the previous layers, just like so. That's perfect. So these are even on both sides. Add a yellow carpet on top of these. And then we want to add a central window. So this is right in the middle. Destroy left and right. Fill it in with glass. Add yellow carpet on top. And then on this layer where we have added yellow carpet, we are actually going to join it all together in kind of like a ring. So it would probably actually make sense to add yellow carpet all the way around, but, well, I, I think that that might actually look a little bit weird, but it actually serves a purpose for that particular layer to cover up the top of the window, so that is why we've done it. It just looks a little bit better from the ground, but there we go. That is the building majoritively complete. There are a couple more things, though. So the next detail that we are going to add is the sign. On my building, I'm just going to write capsule, but I'll show you how to make all of the banners so that you can write out capsule corp if you do so choose. So throw down a loom, open it up, and place a white banner in there with some blue dye. The first letter we want to make is C, so that's a vertical row of blue on the left side, horizontal across the top and the bottom. C. Next is A. Vertical row of blue on the left, the right, horizontal across the top, and straight through the middle. A. Next is P, the most complicated letter. Vertical row of blue on the right side, throw some white dye in there, make the lower half of the banner white, add blue dye, add a horizontal row of blue through the middle of the banner, across the top, and a vertical row of blue down the left side. Next is S. So this is a horizontal row of blue across the top, the bottom, and then a diagonal row top left corner to bottom right corner. Next is U, so a vertical row of blue on the left side, the right side, and then a horizontal row across the bottom. Next is L, so this is a vertical row of blue on the left side and a horizontal row across the bottom. The next letter is E, so this is a vertical row of blue on the left side, horizontal across the top, through the middle, and lastly, the bottom. So, we have capsule. However, we also want to be able to write corp if we do so choose. So the first letter of that would be C, we already have one, so the next letter is O. So this is a vertical row of blue on the left, the right, horizontal across the top, and across the bottom, O. Next would be R, so a vertical row of blue on the left side, horizontal across the top, and a diagonal row top left corner to bottom right corner. And last but not least would be P, but we already have that. So, after a little bit of experimentation, ladies and gentlemen, I've actually discovered that I really like how this looks. So we have Capsule Corp. It's in the same level as just Capsule, but it starts all the way over here on the left, we leave a double space and then we have Corp, and instead of placing the banners against the wall, we place them on top of the previous level, and I think that that looks really good. We're actually going to need these banners later, usually I would get rid of these, but I'm going to store them in this chest. 
Next, come all the way over to the back left-hand side-ish of Capsule Corp. So what we are looking to do is add a row of smooth quartz block extending from this block here, and also this one actually. So we want to have rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, and from here as well, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to extend these two rows. The front one, we will extend it forwards by one, and the back one, back one. We then simultaneously want to extend them in and back and in and forwards. Extend each of these blocks across by four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And then extend these fourth blocks in, out, join them together so we're looking for kind of like a circle it kind of looks like a lollipop well we then want to add another layer of smooth quartz on top of this just like so and you know what make that a double on the front of the build we want to have a window so we'll knock out this middle block left and right fill this in with light blue glass. We then want to add a layer of yellow concrete around the inside of the top of this shape. So it's essentially a circle, but it's kind of at the same time a square. It, it should look like this. We then want to fill above and inside of this in using yellow concrete. With that part of the roof filled in, we now want to add some smooth quartz block just to the right side here, and then shave off these two rows of smooth quartz to kind of like round this hallway off. We now want to work our way over to the right side of Capsule Corp, and we are looking for this yellow concrete block right here. So hopefully you guys can see the one that I'm talking about. The reason this is significant is because we want to, moving to the right, find the 14th grass block right of this concrete. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We then want to mark this out with a smooth quartz. We then want to extend this block backwards one. And then right by 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Back one, right one. And then back by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then left one, back one, left six, one, two, three, four, five, six, in one, left one, forward six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then right one, forwards one, and then connect back like this. We then want to place an iron door right of this sticky out smooth quartz, a smooth quartz block to the right. We then want to place smooth quartz left and right of this door with smooth quartz stairs on the two blocks here facing outwards. Join together using a smooth quartz block. We now want to add an additional layer of smooth quartz on top of the circular shape of this building. We then want to add a layer of smooth quartz stairs onto this shape as well. The only thing is you're going to want to stick a smooth quartz block in between where we have the set of stairs on the front just so that everything connects together. We then want to add a layer of smooth quartz above and inside of the stair level, joining together in the corners. Then we want to add a layer of smooth quartz slab just to fill in the very center of this. Perfect. So at its very base, this is what we have, and it really does look like an igloo. Well, we want to start adding details, and we may as well start from the ground up. So on the corner here, just below the smooth quartz stair layer, we want to add a window just right in the corner, knock out the three middle blocks and place glass in there instead. Move around to the right side, do the same thing, and then do the exact same thing on the back two corners as well. 
we also want to add a window above where the entrance is so the window is just going to be here right so the window will be above and behind the actual entrance in the smooth quartz block layer just like this and i'm starting to think that maybe what we will do is actually we'll just kind of like leave it at that that looks really good okay so next we are going to add kind of like they have a chimney for some odd reason so we're going to add smooth quartz block here in the back left hand corner extend left and then both of these blocks forwards we're then going to add a layer of red concrete on top and that will give us this and honestly that's that's kind of like that's that's the whole building really the only thing that i'm thinking about doing is maybe adding a little bit of white carpet just above the window and i think that that will make it just look a little bit better and then if you wanted to of course kind of like similar to what we did with the abs actual capsule court building as well is just add it around that particular ring of the igloo too so I keep calling it, calling it an igloo. Guys, it, I mean, it's so close to one. I mean, I don't know what else to call it. So we actually want to make another one of these, and it is going to be literally identical to this one. It's going to be behind it, and what I want you to do is take note of where the door here is on this front one. Move along to the back, and still following that door line, we want to leave a gap of six. One two three four five six and then the seventh block here place a door so we should have enough space to have two blocks in front of the door two blocks in between the igloos and then two blocks surrounding them as well so that's perfect six blocks in a row so left and right of this door we're going to stack two smooth quartz blocks smooth quartz stairs on top join them together in between now we will add a row of smooth quartz behind the door frame. So extend the smooth quartz to the right by two, one, two, and then back one, right one, back by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, then left one, back one, left by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, forwards one, left one, forwards by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, right one, forwards one, join back so we are left with this we then want to add another layer of smooth quartz on top of this shape we then want to add a layer of smooth quartz stairs on top of the smooth quartz Remember to add a smooth quartz block just in between the front here. We are then going to add a layer of smooth quartz block just above and inside of the stairs layer. We then want to add a layer of smooth quartz slab just to fill the top of this in. And that is the base shape complete. So as you guys might remember, we want to knock out each one of the four corners just in between the little bottom layer here. This is going to be a set of windows. We then want to have a row of three knocked out above the doorway here, just in the layer of smooth quartz. And then we want to have a chimney. So the chimney is going to be placed just here in the back. We'll have a smooth quartz block destroyed to the right. And in front of this, we'll have a smooth quartz block. And then red concrete on top, just like this. And then we'll add a layer of white carpet just on top of the smooth quartz. So it's going all the way around like so. And that will give us something that will look like this. So from the side, it's probably a little bit better to see it from this angle actually that's perfect two igloos so we actually have just one more of these to make and this time it's going to be in the front right hand region of the grid and the way that we are going to place this is by coming to the left side of capsule court we want to locate this yellow concrete right here we want to count outwards and find the seventh block moving out so one two three, four, 
five, six, seven. And then we want to, counting this one, move forwards by 18. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So this is where we place the door. That's absolutely perfect. Left and right of this, we place smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stairs on top of the block, smooth quartz block in between the stairs. We add a row of smooth quartz behind this. And these are literally the exact same, by the way. This is the exact same as the other two that we've made, except the roof is a slightly different color and the positioning is different as well. So it's, it's very, very close though. So we then want to extend this block here to the right, by two, so one, two, and then back one, right one, and then forwards by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, left one, back one, and then left by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, forwards one, left one, forwards by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, forwards one, down one, right one. So this is the shape that we've made. And then we want to add a layer of smooth quartz on top of this circular shape. Add an additional smooth quartz behind here, and then that allows us to add a layer of smooth quartz stairs on top of our quartz layer. What we then want to do is add, instead of a layer of smooth quartz, we are going to add a layer of blue concrete just along the inside of the smooth quartz stairs layer. So this is where things get a bit different. And then next, we are going to add another layer of blue concrete. So this one is going to be ever so slightly taller as well. But I mean, the, the principle is the same. And this is what we want to have. That's perfect. And we want to have windows, though, the exact same as the others. So we'll knock out this corner, add some glass. This corner, add glass. Perfect. We also want to add the same window just in the blue layer as we have on the other side, except this time I suppose that we will use blue carpet instead. However, we do still want the chimney. The chimney is going to be in this back corner here. It's pretty much starting in the exact same place. And it's a little 2x2 two two square like this. It'll pop one row upwards above the blue, and then we'll add blue on top of it. And there we go. That's it. That is the last little igloo that we have yet to make. Next, we want to make a standing sign. So the way that I would position this is where we have the entrance, right? We want to, from this end rod move to the left one, and then move all the way to the front of the grid. We want to start three rows in, so this will be one, two, three, and place one, two, three, die right wall extending up. We then want to leave a gap of five, one, two, three, four, five, and then place another die right wall in the exact same amount. We then want to stick two white concrete on top of each of these die right wall like this, and then extend each of these inwards, upwards, join them together like so. So it will kind of look a little bit wavy like that. And if you like, you can even kind of like extend the middle forwards a little bit, so it almost looks a little bit more depthy, if that's even a word. And then we are just going to store these a second, and we are going to write capsule on the actual wavy sign. So unfortunately, it's done it backwards, but that's okay. So capsule should fit perfectly on here and that's great i really do wish that there was like an a good way of fitting corp here as well but there just really isn't without making this like atrociously big so we're going to stuff all of these back in here and then re-grab all of these materials so whilst we are on the outer boundary area we want to behind and to the left of the diorite wall here we want to place a fern Leave a gap, place a fern. 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 And that will actually be positioned perfectly. And 
we want to do the same sort of thing on the right side here. So outwards and backwards diagonally, we'll place a fern, leave a gap, place a fern. And this is actually going to come pretty much all the way towards the outer boundary of the build. So it will stop pretty much here. Except in the position of this last fern, we're actually going to remove it place an oak sapling and then just bone meal it and luckily that hasn't turned into anything too crazy i'm looking for something that's a bit more like i, I want it to look quite nice and what i mean by that is like i, I basically want a three by three set of oak leaves right on an actual like oak tree so i want like two oak wood and then uh, a three by three set of leaves so just trim that down a little bit and that looks pretty good. Against the actual main building as well, we are going to add some leaves. So we'll start from this left side here. We'll leave a gap, leaf, gap, leaf. Come to the opposite side. Gap, leaf, gap, leaf. That's absolutely perfect. I know this seems arbitrary, but still. We then want to take the area between the leaf and the end rod and leaving a gap of one here, we want to place a fern, gap, fern. And then we will just leave it like that. Now, this pretty much covers all of the plant life around Capsule Corp. So the next thing that we are going to do is start adding some pathways because all of these buildings connect together. So I'm going to start with the igloos. Basically, the first thing that we want to do is dig two entire rows that connect together around each one of the igloos. And... We want to fill the empty space in using white concrete. So you may find it easier to dig out a row, add white concrete, and then dig out another row. Once again, all of these want to connect together along the outside. And then just fill in, once you've dug out the next row, fill that in using white concrete. And it just stops you going too wrong, which is really, really easy to do, especially when you get to the front, because it's a slightly different shape than the back. There we go, that's perfect. So that's the first one, and then we're going to do the exact same thing to the igloo behind. And then we're going to connect these two igloos together with a 3x3 three three row path, just like this. That's perfect. We also want to head over to the blue igloo and do the exact same thing. So now that we have done that with each one of the igloos, we are now going to dig a pathway from the main entrance of Capsule Corp. So it's going to lead from this class here. And we are actually going to dig in front of Capsule Corp eight rows in total. So we've already dug one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's going to be three rows thick. And we're actually going to maintain that thickness of three rows leading from here. We also want to dig a row of two leading from this entrance here as well. So we are only going to have a two row thick path. 
but when it comes to the actual main path here, we are going to have three rows. So one, two, three, and we will connect these two together like this. So just across, and we'll fill these in at a later time. But we also want to dig all the way over across to the two igloos that are connected together. And we want to have a row of free path that joins these two buildings to the main building. We are then going to dig across and we are going to join to the single igloo. And we want to keep digging until we have dug all the way over to the far side of the entrance here because we then want to dig three rows directly and connecting to the back part of the build. So this actually lines up perfectly with this kind of like what I would call outbuilding. Just like that. And then, last but not least, we also want to connect to the main entrance over here. So, not the main ent entrance to the building, but the main entrance to the grounds. And this will sit just nicely in between the rows of diorite. And this big giant hole that we've dug now just wants filling in with white concrete. So the last two things that we have to do to close out this tutorial, ladies and gentlemen, and one of these is optional. First of all, we are going to add two rows of smooth stone all the way around the inside edge of the grid, and this is going to kind of just create a boundary between Capsule Corp and pretty much everything else. This is its very own compound. You can even add kind of like a little bit of a fence all the way around as well, if you do so choose. There's actually enough room for that, but I'm, I'm kind of happy with it being a little bit open. And then next and this is the optional part you might want to replace all of the grass inside capsule corp with lime terracotta now that is the biggie that's a real big decision that's completely up to you whether you want to do it i would understand if you didn't unfortunately i i'm gonna have to do it for myself just because i do think it looks really good And that is it for this tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. But I do want to remind you that there are two optional extra builds that if you're a Dragon Ball fan, you might want to add to the Capsule Corp compound. First of all, we have the Capsule Corp spaceship, which in my mind most notably is used by Goku to travel from Earth to Namek so that he can defeat Frieza. I have also built the time machine, which most notably to me, in my mind, is used by Trunks to travel from the future back in time to warn everybody about Cell. These are two really cool Easter eggs to add to the Capsule Corp compound if you're a Dragon Ball fan, but they are not necessary at all. So if that's something that you might want to add, it's completely up to you. I think that it really does just add a really cool addition to this build. But please do remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Good bye.